During an interview with her famous sister Beyoncé, R&B star Solange Knowles defined how the song was inspired by the manic real estate development she observed around Miami. This idea of building up, up, up that was going on in our country at the time, all of this excessive building, and not really dealing with what was in front of us. She used this image to analyze her own feelings and took many years after it was originally conceived for the song to be completed with producer Raphael Sadiq to create this inward reflection. Cranes in the Sky is a song by American singer-songwriter Solange and released in 2016 and is the first single from Solange's third album, A Seat at the Table. The song was written by Solange, who co-produced it with Raphael Sadiq. Cranes in the Sky is a mid-tempo soul ballad that lyrically explores the singer's unsuccessful attempts to distract herself from a long-standing pain. Cranes in the Sky debuted at number 74 on the Billboard Hot 100. It won the Grammy for Best R&B Performance at the 59th Annual Grammy Awards. Solange wrote, Cranes in the Sky, eight years before its release, after her breakup with the father of her child, for which she had been with for seven years, since age of 13. In 2008, producer and singer Raphael Sadiq handed Solange a CD with a few instrumentals on it. One consisted simply of drums, strings, and bass. Two months later, Solange wrote, Cranes in the Sky, while listening to the instrumentals in a Miami hotel. Lyrically, the song explores the idea of attempting to avoid the elephant in the room. It describes a person looking to distract themselves in various ways from an unaddressed sadness. In speaking of the title, Solange explains a situation where sudden economic growth turned a once quiet, tranquil town into a busy, construction-infested city, where mechanical cranes blocked the view of the scenery. She says, like so much of America, there was just so much real estate development. And, literally everywhere that I looked, I saw a crane in the sky. You could not look down any street without seeing dozens and dozens of them, and it felt very heavy. They were an eyesore and so disruptive to a place that I found peace in. She continued, saying that, all this excessive building, was not, really dealing with what was in front of us. Pitchfork listed, Cranes in the Sky, as the third best song of 2016. Thank you for watching and do not forget to like and subscribe.